up everybody this is john with archer fish i'm back at lake castaic after a couple of really good days at kachuma and the reason is the striper fishing back with my man alex of wake and fish he invited me out so we're gonna try to get on some stripers uh maybe a little bass action we will see all right Bad, not bad. Oh, it's a good one. Holy crap, dude. It's huge. It's huge. I'm gonna let him go one run here. And I'm gonna bring him up. Oh, come on. This huge fish, dude. This is six pounds. Yeah, let's do this. Let's do this. <laughs> All right. Oh my god. Come down here because you don't, you don't want him going at the cross. Okay. All right, you ready? I'm so ready. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is the biggest. I've seen in a long time come out here. Don't let him bust. I'm not, I'm not. Oh my god! Yes! Oh my goodness, I got the jump in the leg. Yes! Oh, Maybe not six, but. Oh, bro. Dude. Play with that one. Oh, brother. It's gorgeous. Oh my god. Well, this is uh, one of the bigger bass I've caught at uh, Castaic in a while. It's so empty. It may not even go five because he's so empty. Yeah, you could tell his belly stretched out though. That thing probably gets so huge. Half back on here. Look at that. Look at that toad. Yes. The Sanko, man. <laughs> I've been throwing that Sanko in so long. All right, that was incredible. That is my best bass at in a long time. And wouldn't you know it, on the Senko, first toss with that sucker. Amazing. Whew. That was huge. The shimmer's on the water. Right, guys it slowed down a little bit we were just cut off into one of these coves doing a little drop shot fishing uh, we saw a couple boils but they're so far apart uh, we didn't have time to get over there and it's like just the frequency is not happening so we decided to do a little bass fishing for now and see if we cannot catch a couple Little guy. Thanks, bud. Thanks, buddy. Still going. No. All right, it's starting to get humorous now. They just keep popping up on the opposite side of where we are, all in this one little spot. They pop up, we go over, they pop up the other side. We're trying a little stealthy approach on this last one, and they ended up staying up a little bit longer, about 10 seconds, which would have given us enough time to get there. So I'm hoping that next one pops up and stays for about 10 seconds, and we could get on these fish and get some cool footage. Are you serious? It seemed like they were staying up forever, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. we got them. We got them. Give them a wide berth, we can cast that far. Wow. All right. Man, they're boiling pretty good. But we violated rule number 112, and that is do not blind cast to places where you think the stripers are gonna come or where they were. Because sure enough, the reason why they pop up just close enough to get to them, but you're reeling in and reeling in. And we had both had fast, I had a, I have an eight, eight to one, he had like a seven to one. We just could not get it in quick enough to get to that next boil. So don't blind cast. Be patient, especially if they're popping up in this kind of frequency, which seems like 
every at least five to ten minutes right now so yeah don't blind cast they're there behind us they're, we i can cast i can cast we're gonna get him get him you're on Sorry, I'm over here. Okay. Okay. I got it, I got it. Oh, come on, last one, last one. Yeah, you're good, you're good. Just do what you're doing. All right, Alex is on a good fish. That was the best boil I've seen coming right at us. He's digging, he's taking it all back. Dude. Huh. Yeah. Better work to get that <laughs> bad boy in there. <laughs> that is a heavy fish, man. Oh. Oh. All right, this is ridiculous amount of fun, man. This is insane. They're, they're coming up in this area pretty frequently. It's just a matter of timing and getting a little bit lucky. We got lucky with that one, but it is just so much fun because they're staying in this spot. So I got a feeling we're going to get on them, at least get one or two or six more. All right, everyone, that about wraps it up. Man, it was a long day, uh, few and far between on the bites and the boils, but when we did get on them, I caught that nice bass, one of my biggest here in a long time. So that was really cool on the Senko. And then we got into the boils, chased them around. It was like a comedy of errors out there. We'd show up one place, they'd pop up the other, we'd go back and forth. And then finally they came up in front of us. The thing with the boils, as I've said a million times, it is a lot of luck that goes, it goes into uh, being in the right place at the right time or being close enough to get them. But not only luck, but there is a little bit of strategy. So once we saw them come up, we kind of, you know, put the boat in one spot. Oh! <laughs> Woo! I'm glad you shut the engine off. <laughs> so yeah, that is it. We got some uh, we got some good footage today. He caught that nice striper. Um, I'm gonna tease you with a little bit from that. That was nice, uh, over seven pounds. Um, but you're gonna have to check out his channel, Wake and Fish to see the whole footage because it's pretty cool alex thanks again for letting me come out with you man right, bro. appreciate it wake and fish uh, i'll put the link in the description had a blast thank you so much everybody i will see you tomorrow Hold on to your yeah 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 <laughs> this is uh this is how it goes man we're, we're just wrapping up and about to leave and of course they just start boiling right near us and we have not seen them in, in a couple of hours and they just start popping off and we have like literally like seconds left here